Hey there, my name is John Soskovich. I am the uh, I'm the big talking head in front of a barn door for farm marketing solutions at answering your questions about chickens. Listen, I have passion about poultry and I love farming, I love what I do, and I happen to be weirdly comfortable in front of a camera. So when you have questions with, for those people who went to farmmarketingsolutions.com, scroll to the bottom of the homepage, fill out the form, send me a question, I print them out. This is for you guys. So I got one, we've we've gone over this week, Chris Mills had uh, raising chickens without feed. Will asked about reducing my feed costs. Matt asked me how I get $6 a pound. Uh, Eva, Eva, sorry, uh, asked about storing feed effectively. And then we're going to Micah Gentle. Um, Micah, or Micah, M-I-C-A-H, we'll, we'll go with Micah. Asked about the rounds or rotations of chickens, how many I do per year uh, and how I organize that. Now I've done a video and we'll link it in the notes below this one on um, how I spreadsheet my rotations of birds, but I wanted to go over uh, kind of the things I've learned throughout the year and what you would maximize for and how I manage my rotations of birds. So there's a few limiting factors when you're planning out your how much you capacity you have on land. Uh, I don't like to run more than two rotations of birds over the same area in one year. I really only ever do one rotation of bird over the same piece of land in one year. Uh, that's why multi-species grazing, grazing is good, is because you can run other animals over it when the birds are not on there. But you can do twice, but it, it gets into soil tests and what your soil can bear out and how much fertility you have or don't have and how much your land can take uh, and what stage the bird's at and how much rest time you have between batches. I know that's a lot of details and it might be confusing because I'm just kind of rattling it off, but suffice it to say, if I had to run it twice in one year, I would do the very first batch and the very last batch so I had maximum rest time in between batches of birds. Uh, so limiting factor is land and then <clears throat> brooder space and utilities where how many birds you can uh, brood, which means starting them from chicks um, and before they're out in the field. If you can only do one batch at a time, then you're limited to uh, you know a 21 day period where they're, that's the total potential time that your brooder is occupied before the birds go out in the field. So every 20, you can only start a batch of bird every, one, every 21 days. How I've done it in the past, I've, I've managed this a couple different ways. So I would bring in birds every two weeks and process 60 a week and bring in every two weeks 120 birds. So when I brought in 120 straight run birds, on week one, when it came time to processing, I would pick out all the biggest birds that I could find up to 60, and I would pick, I would, you get good at choosing out the males versus the females. And then the females, I would give another week to grow out, and I would have a good four pound average size throughout the year. Um, and But that was a lot of extra work sorting birds. So then I went to an all in, all out as I scaled up and I had more room for that diversity of sizes because I still go straight run. So now with uh, not doing, not sorting birds, I was still doing every other week, but processing 240 birds. I did 2,400 birds and I did 10 rotations that year. And I had two brooders going and I would always have one or two uh, busy and full at one time because there's a three week rotation in the, bur the brooder and I had every two weeks I was flipping birds. I would have downtime for a week and one brooder back and forth as those three weeks went through. I know it's a little confusing, but you have three weeks in the brooder, five weeks in the field for a Cornish cross, which is a total of eight weeks. When I had two brooders, three weeks in one, three weeks in another, I could have two batches of birds. I would start a batch of birds, wait two weeks, start another batch of birds. This had one week left and then it got out of there. And then this would have two more weeks after that one week and you get it, I hope. Um, write it down, it is what it is. <clears throat> uh, and then you can play with that over time. If you don't wanna brood chicks all year long, so you can change your batches around. If you uh, don't always want birds out in the field, uh, you can change your batches around. If you wanna do beginning of the year, end of the year, if you wanna just raise them in the middle of the summer when they're most efficient because they have the longest sunlight hours, uh, the most consistent warmth, at least in the Northern Hemisphere where I'm at. I now do about a thousand birds a year. I do five rotations of 240, that's like 1200 birds or something. Um, so, yeah, five rotations of 240 birds, and I get them in, you know, maybe once a month, once every three, four weeks, uh, and just plot it out where 
I don't have more than two batches of birds on the farm at any one time because I'm managing a bunch of other things. Uh, so I just manage, I've, I've played with the dials and uh, tuned things in uh, to compensate for all the other variables that I have in my holistic farm picture. Uh, broiler chickens are not the only thing that I do here if you've been paying attention to the channel. Uh, so I have to balance that operation with all the other goals that I've set for myself and my business throughout the year. That's it for this week of AMAs, Ask Me Anything. In the future, if you want your question answered, go to farmmarketingsolutions.com. On the bottom of the homepage, you'll find the form. And then uh, while you're there, you can check out the podcast. You can check out uh, our store. You can check out the resources page. I put a bunch of information on the website for you guys for free. Uh, some of it's for free, some of it you have to buy. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Hope you've been enjoying these YouTube channels. I'm going to go rest my throat and I have other stuff to do. Uh, I love you. I'll see you soon. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your season. And I'll see you next Monday when I come out with new content. See you later.